Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart, in my heart. Lord, Are you kidding me? Understand that you gotta follow your God, son, and be your own man. Tell me, do you want to be normal? No, I'm sorry. Don't you tell me you're sorry when you're not. And you know the Lord is watching us. You know we're being tested. Almighty God, look down upon this child and heal him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart Don't turn your back on and lean not on your own understanding. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love.
he essentially uh, licensed, optioned that book to me for nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, and, and that journey began my quest to make this movie. So I kept it on the shelf for years. I tried to make it about seven or eight years ago. Jesse Smollett from Empire was going to play Randy. Uh, and the money fell through. And then years later, of course, I did the skinny with Jesse. And then after the skinny, uh, my producer from Noah's Ark, Carol Shine, who's here. Carol. Hey, Carol. 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 Can we, can we say hi to Carol and Keith Brown, who are producers of the family? Can you stand, Carol and Keith? So Carol hooked me up with Keith, who was looking for a movie to produce, and then we were on our way. So 20, 25 years. Wow. Almost my age. <laughs> and I just want to say, you know, that book, it, it really is, in terms of contemporary literature, the first black gay coming of age story. You know, this book was, came out 30 years ago. And by the way, they just released a new edition. You can find it now, uh, featuring the Blackbird artwork and an afterword written by me. So please support Larry Duplatan. Please support him. He continues Randy's so, Randy story in a series of seven or eight books. So you can really follow him through his life. Absolutely. Monique? Yes. Tell me what drew you to this town. Because let me say this. Let me say this, because you know, <laughs> my boyfriend's like, now you know this is Monique. Now, Monique from Queens of Comedy, from the Parkers, to the Monique show. I'm like, you're right, this is Monique. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mother Monique. We loved her forever. And, you know, you forget, you know, when you get Academy Award, you know, you know, it, it you know, so I forgot, this is Monique. I've loved her. I've always loved her. Not that she got an Oscar, I've always loved Monique. <laughs> Them, and then also, um, what it took to do that? Because you played the hell, excuse yes. my language, out of the mother that we yes. all had. Like you've never seen it before. Right. You know, um, first I just want to say thank you to an amazing cast. And to. <laughs> to the young babies that y'all played those roles, so honest, so unafraid of it. You died so perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> and you died on sex and death so much. <laughs> 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 to play those roles, and Julian to be so unafraid, mm -hmm. and to be so brave and courageous, it, every time I see that film, and I've seen it now about 27,000 times, <laughs> every time I see it, I'm still moved the same way. And what drew me to this project was just the honesty. And that Patrick and Ricky were so unafraid to give it to us raw, and give it to us in a way that we've never seen it before because we've been too afraid to really touch it. When people ask, how did I go there? Those are real emotions, and those are true feelings. Because when you speak about a woman that is so grounded and so strong in what she's been taught and conditioned to believe, and she's following tradition, and she's doing it in such a way she can't seem to love her baby through it. Well, I know those mothers because I know those boys. Mm. And this beautiful group of boys when I was 16 years old, mm. took my hand and took me to a club in Washington, D.C. called The Clubhouse. <laughs> and then they went into this amazing club called The Garage. <laughs> and when I would go into these clubs, I would see those brothers come to life. And I would see them be so creative and so beautiful and so strong in who they were. But when we left those clubs, I would see misery, I would see shame, I would see embarrassment. So to get to the first page of this amazing script, and you got that church scene where they're taking off robes, I said, 
Baby Salazar. Your future so bright applies my eyes. 
What was it like to work with Isaiah Washington and Monique and the fearless Patrick and Paul? Tell me. <coughs> From the beginning, I was absolutely nervous. This is the first film I've ever done. This is like... <laughs> this is the first thing I've ever done, so it, I was really stepping out of my comfort zone with coming into this role. So when Patrick told me like who my parents would be and the rest of the cast, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh my god, I have no experience. They're gonna like hurt me and stuff. But luckily, the minute I met everyone on this stage, including the people that aren't here, they've given me advice. They gave me the warmest hug I have ever received in my life. And they told me that we were, we all were in this together. And thank you all so much for making my first experience. <laughs> Tell me what the experience, what the feedback has been, because you popped it now. So you just saw your booty now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I represent, I represent Taylor and they got hundreds of thousands a day here. So, young kids in their 20s, that's what people read DBQ magazine, their 20s, 30s. They love you now. You, I mean, you, you might as well be Jesse Smollett now. I mean, you, you're next to lunch. So what has that been like? What has that experience been like? Good luck. Honestly, after filming for Blackbird stopped, my life continued. I'm still a student. I still, I'm actually about to graduate next month. No <laughs> yes, my um, degree is in theater with a minor in media production. So I'm really excited. Um, my life has, everyone back home is extremely supportive. They, they're welcoming nothing that's changed back home or anything like that. So I still feel normal. I don't feel like anything has changed yet. He interrupts, he's, he's um, performing in a production of the Spring Awakening right now at his oh, come on. Well, ladies, we can't wait to see you in theaters. We can't wait to welcome you and love you and accept you and wait to your next film, Star. Give him a round of applause. Good. Tell me about your experience. I think that um, that, that shocked me. I was gagging and she said, she's not, y'all, she's not. Um, I want to know about that. Then I also want to know about this new soundtrack. Yes, well, um, they don't know. <laughs> well, Patrick and I and Keith, we got together. Um, I have an independent record label, Wood Grain Entertainment. And um, when Keith found out that I did my distribution deal with Sony Red, he asked me, he said, can you put out other projects other than your own? I was like, yeah, I'm a boss. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait, let me talk about distributor first, but I'm a boss. But, so we, we worked it out. Um, it's coming. The, the Blackbird soundtrack is coming. So all the music you all heard, you know, you're going to hear it, you're going to have it, you're going to own it. So you guys look out for it. The first single is dropping next Tuesday after the film comes out on Friday. So tell your friends um, to look out for the Blackbird soundtrack. And go to the theater. But my experience, um, on this project, I'm, I'm so I'm so grateful to all of you all. Yes, <laughs> um, I love being a part of great ensembles, and I love being a part of a group of people who push you to be better. You know, I was nervous too. You know, I, I didn't know who was playing Julian, but when I was reading the script, I was like, man, whoever is gonna play this role is gonna be beasting. And then um, when I first met Julian, the first time I met you was when I, I came to say you two were doing the scene in the kitchen in the morning where you slapped him. I had to watch you slap him like 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was just looking like, okay, when can I go back to the hotel so I can go over my lines? Because they are go going in today and I want to be ready for tomorrow. But, you know, everyone was so warm. So um, encouraging our, our other castmates. You know, we had good time on on set, off set. We helped each other. 
Um, I was always nervous when you would be behind the, the monitor looking like, oh my God. <laughs> but you know, you would give us like the nod of approval and it was like, okay, I did good. And then when Patrick wouldn't come over and get into us, <laughs> he was like, you put the papa bear, you know, getting us straight and we'd be goofing off. But we had a really good experience and like Monique said, every time I watch it, I hear something, I learn something. And every audience, I have to say though, this is the best audience that I've sat for. You guys are so into it, and it just, it's so enjoyable, and it's so great to see how much this film touches everyone else. So I'm. New York, baby. New York. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just enjoying the entire. <laughs> So, one question, one simple question. It was going to be hard, but then we wrap it up because we got to push. Um, what is the take on message? Because let me say this. You all were invited, and we pushed to you all, and we went to you all, and we told y'all to come out because it is very, very important to me, that's why I'm here, why you see the queue up there, that we all go out and support this film and the theaters. Very, very, very important. We need to bring our cousins, our mama, Juma, big mama, everybody. Every church member, every mean mother, every gay friend, everybody. And we need to flood these theaters on Friday. Because it is a very important time to be black gay in America. Do y'all know how important it is to come out and be yourself right now? It's, 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 it's so easy. And I think this film needs to be sports. Can y'all tell me um, what your personal take home message for us is for this film? What this is for you all, what, what the, the theme or the message is? Well, I will, um, I will let, uh, I will let you guys speak to that. But <laughs> what I will say is, um, we, you know, this is not, this is an independent film. Uh, you know, Mr. Johnson, this is a new enterprise for him for his first theatrical release. You know, no, we do not have Universal Studios money. You're not going to see Avengers type bus ads and billboards and commercials running every five seconds on every channel imaginable. We don't have all of that. You are our bus ads. You're our billboards. We need you to get on that Twitter. We need you to hashtag Facebook, Instagram, whatever you can do to spread the word because this is a movement, and if you talk about it, other people want to talk about it, and make sure people know they can see this movie this weekend at three theaters in New York, Magic Johnson, AMC Empire in Times Square, AMC in The Village, that they can see it in, um, in Bethesda, Maryland, outside of DC, they can see it at a couple of theaters in, in DC, including the Angelica Pop-Up and the Magic Johnson. They can see it in Atlanta, they can see it in Los Angeles, and they can see it in San Francisco. And then if we pack those theaters this weekend, then next weekend you'll see it in Chicago and Dallas and other cities. And that's how it's going to happen. And in August, it'll be on video on demand and, and iTunes and anywhere and everywhere. And then everyone else who, what, who, haven't, who won't get a chance to see it in a the theater will get to see it. So we are depending on you to spread the word about this film. This is our movie. So. <laughs> And you, you know, I'm happy if you take away anything, but I just want you to support. <laughs> you can take away whatever you want. And we are, I feel like it's my place to tell you what it is. We figure it out, but support and, and, and make sure because, you know, I've been doing this 15 years. Punks came out in 2000. Uh, and to have young men, Julian's age, younger and a little bit older, coming up to me now and saying, when I was 15 and struggling and trying to figure out who I was, I saw Noah's art and it changed my life. That, that makes it all work because I didn't have a Noah's art. I had nothing when I was growing up, nothing. So that's why I do what I do. That's why we have collectively come to do this. You know, we want people to know it's okay to be who you are. So please support us. I, I just want to impress upon you guys the the historical significance of this opportunity. It was a crime. Um, Honorable Thames Cullen's already on Houston, Langston Hughes, 
We've been here before, Audrey Lord. We've been here before. Yes, we can. Uh, now, I also want you to yes, seriously we can. think about the opportunity. dream that we were sold yes, we on Yes, We Can. No, no, yes, I'm not casting aspersions. I'm not trying to go to a, yes, a place that is not possible. We remember yes, we the time. Yes, we can. We were all about yes, yes, we can. Yes, and how we moved that yes, out together. Yes, the hashtag yes, we can. Man, all the way into life. Yes, now, six years later, yes, it is what it is. We Different. We, we didn't know together. what he could do. We will begin the next great chapter in the American story. We didn't have any kind of aspect of what he could do. When we ask you to be the song or hashtag be a black girl, you just see what we have done. So it doesn't belong to us anymore. We need you to claim it and we bring it to Because we do, we've done it before. Just don't guess it can with no proven track record. Just hold. But you sat here and you've witnessed, and you've witnessed this man for 15 years on what he's capable of. So let's bring him home. Let's bring him home. And I'd like to thank you, first of all, for coming out. And I'd like you all to give a great big hand to our cast. Yes.